guys welcome back we continue our series on the elbow air flare today i'm going to help you guys get multiple el uh, elbow air flares uh, so multiple air flares is actually easier than doing multiple elbow air flare there's a couple of reasons uh, for starters when you do one air flare you land on the hand and you place the hand again and the second one is actually exactly as the first one basically right of course it might be a struggle to do it exactly the same because it's very easy in elbow air flare it's not the same when you start, you start on, in my case, the left hand, then you place the elbow, you throw one, but you land on the elbow. And now here comes that transition that kind of messes up all the balance. So those are basically the main points why doing multiple is hard. Uh, in a way, this transition already kind of can mess you up, but then in the elbow affair, you lose uh, speed, all of a sudden you start spinning, yada yada. So uh, it's kind of a hassle. Uh, the main key, always the same, get very good normal air flares, not elbow air flares. If you can do over 10 really good air flares, you pretty much can practice very little and you can do elbow air flares, or you don't even have to practice, you can just do it, right? Uh, but that's not for everybody. A lot of beginners can elbow air flares quite easy, at least one round. Uh, they have all the freeze on the control, they can swoop like halo or windmill, and they can do the elbow air flares sort of for free. You can check out my tutorial, it's not a hard move. Uh, it's easier than air flare. But then doing multiple is harder, so that's where the struggle comes. So uh, today we do a trick, and if you can do this trick, you can do multiples basically for free. Uh, but this is harder than doing uh, elbow air flare. This is also harder than doing uh, multiple elbow air flare. But this sort of ensures you always have the right balance. So uh, the trick is very easy. We're gonna practice holding a double elbow freeze like this, swooping our legs and throwing an elbow air flare from this position. Now this is very hard actually, but I'm gonna tell you guys a couple of tricks to make sure it's not too hard, right? So uh, when you're here, you let go with this hand, you try to throw, you have nothing to stand up. So what you first do always is sort of lean on top of the arm during your move. Land, lean. Uh, and I suggest pushing the hip away from your head. So if the hip is all the way above your head, push it circular away. To the, it's, it's like that circle to the front that you also use in other power moves. So let's say I'm completely up, circle away, right? It gives you more room, which in this case makes it more easy. It's also usually a little bit more pretty. Uh, so that's what you want to do. And then you want to throw an elbow wafer. There are two versions to do this, basically. The first one is uh, basically thrown directly, so you swoop the legs just like you normally would. Uh, you lean over, but in this case, you don't really have uh, that, that much same room to fly. So what you do is keep your shoulders stiff and chuck extremely hard this arm again. Tap! What will happen is basically your body will be like a board which simply flip to the other side. So you won't really fly in this case, you will just simply uh, flip the hands, right? And it's, uh, it's not that hard once you figure it out. So basically double elbow free and, uh, and throw over, right? And then you have the first elbow air flare like from this position. So it looks like this. Double elbow free, shoot, throw, right? More or less like that. Uh, and that works more or less. If this looks terrible to you, don't worry. It's not the same as the multiple uh, elbow air flare. Because in elbow effort you have momentum and speed, and yada yada. Now you don't have it, so even if this doesn't look too good, it doesn't really matter. This is just an exercise to help you out. So uh, this might be very hard for you because you know, okay, I'm on a double elbow and I want to go from nowhere uh, pretty hard, right? Uh, but uh, you can do a little trick basically to help you out, and it's simply swoop the same, but go uh, in a pike freeze, elbow pike freeze for a split second. Uh, this gives you more room basically and then this time it's a little bit different because you're already fully rotated in so instead of now using that chuck you can but it's actually now the idea that you throw behind you it's kind of the same movement you just did but now you add a split second of pike elbow pike freeze in to it right this gives you simply more room so yet again double pike pike right uh yeah so <laughs> that's the exercise and what would probably be very good, but you don't even have to do it. Simply do this multiple times. So after you landed that first one, place the elbow again and rinse and repeat. Uh, if you can do that, even better, I guess. But uh, luckily for you, you don't need to do that. Basically, the first elbow air flare 
uh, gives you momentum and speed, so then you don't have to worry about the second one uh, the same, like, oh, I'm landing here, I have to do weird transitions and yada yada. And also, your body now knows, just do this six times before you start training moving elbow air press, okay, freeze, chuck, freeze, chuck. Now your body knows what to do. And every time you place that elbow, automatically, you will throw, correct me. So I'll just demonstrate two rounds now, but the idea is that you always push towards the 10. So now you know. Uh, do this exercise before, then start pushing for those 10 elbow after, right? Maybe you can do now two, three, and push it beyond that limit. Uh, but take a look, guys. I'll just do two rounds now. And normally, I actually do use that pushing technique a little bit, uh, but you don't have to. If you can place the elbow now, you're pretty much good. Take a look, guys. Right? Every time you place the elbow, you're good to go. Right? And the funny thing is you don't, your body, uh, you don't have to think actually so much about it. Your body will do it automatically. And then, of course, yada yada, it needs to be clean, it needs to be open-legged, blah, blah. There's all kinds of tricks that you can use. For instance, when you fly over, you just let your legs wide. Uh, you know, all that crap. It will help you out. See you next time.